Hello everybody. Welcome back if you are part of the family and if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. For today's look, we are going to do a bold lip or I'm going to show you how I do my bold lip and how I like to do it. Everybody does differently, but I pair it up with a very simple and subtle eyeshadow. I feel like if you do it that way, it doesn't compete with the star of the show, which is the bold lip. So I'm doing a voiceover. I'm so sorry. For some reason, the audio on this video did not work, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the NYX Lingerie lid color, I believe is in gold. It's a beautiful color. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. And as you can see right there below, I don't know why I have red lipstick on my hand. I didn't even notice it throughout the whole video, but anyways, this color is beautiful. And we're also gonna use it, I guess like a primer, um, because we're gonna, it's gonna be the first thing that we put and any other eyeshadow that I put on top is gonna hold on to it. Uh, very nicely and it'll last the whole day. So I'm gonna get this elf C brush and just start blending in blend 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 You're gonna see me talk throughout this whole video because I have no idea that my audio my audio is out so I apologize for that, but Hey, it's the first time for everything, right? So this will be my first uh, Voiceover I guess so yes, I love this formula because it's very liquidy at first which means you can blend it out however you want and then when it dries it sets so big fan then we're gonna do the other lid like i said no rhyme or reason just make sure you cover your lid and then we're gonna blend it out with that exact same brush so we're just blending blend 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 baby So next we're going to go into our Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay and we're going to go into that color Tease. It's a very cool brown and we're going to work it into our crease. Again, we're going for a subtle eye look, but we want to make sure that we create shadows and add dimensions. Even though it's going to be subtle, you still kind of need these to make sure that your eyes still look put together and nice. So I'm showing you the brush that I'm using. I'm going to do the other eye. Every brush that I use, I'm gonna put in the description box and I'm also gonna put it right here on the screen so you can know what I'm using. Just blend, blend, blend. Very nicely. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a very clean brush. Make sure it has no product in it. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out the edges. I'm over here, I'm showing you, it's just a fluffy brush. Um, I think this was from Sonia Kashuk and I'm just blending out those harsh lines just to make it look a little more natural So then we're gonna get an even smaller brush more precise brush and with that same color tease We're gonna apply it to our lower lash line Again, just adding some shadows some dimensions to our look Next we're gonna get that um, Booty call color from the same palette, and we're gonna highlight our brow bones, and it's just gonna help the colors pop a little more. Then we're gonna get this other brush, and we're gonna dip into our Tarte Rainforest um, eyeshadow. I love this. I'm gonna grab this shimmery, like pearl color, and we're gonna put it in the inner corners of our eyes. I love doing this because not only does it make your eyes kind of pop. A little bit in that area but it makes your eyes look bigger brighter look more awake <laughs> then what we're gonna do I'm gonna further intensify that gold and with this brush over here I'm gonna grab that gold color so we start off with a cream eyeshadow and now we're gonna pack it on with a powder eyeshadow just to further intensify that gold and set it So lastly, my favorite part, we're going to do mascara and I'm going to use my favorite mascara, which is the Voluminous Paradise uh, Mascara in Black by L'Oreal. I love this mascara. I feel like I reach for it even, um, yeah, I love it more than my high-end ones. I, re I keep reaching for it um, every time and it takes me forever to do my mascara, honestly, but I'm going to skip through all that and <laughs> just show you the 
the end results. So we're gonna go ahead and do our blush. Um, this blush is by Sephora Color and the color is Hot Flush. It's like a coppery, goldy, golden, orangey blush. I love it. Um, and I also, when I use this blush, I don't always do like contour or bronzing. I feel like this color kind of does it for me for both both steps. So I'm not using bronzer in this look just for that reason because of this, this blush. So just dab it. This goes on very natural. All over your cheek. And then I'm gonna go into Rodeo Drive by Ofra. It's a beautiful highlighter, golden shade. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush. I'm showing you how fluffy it is. <laughs> Dip in there. And we can kind of splurge and go a little further with our highlighter just because our eyes are so subtle. Um, I love, yeah, just hitting it up with the highlighter as much as I can. So down the bridge of the nose. I'm gonna set it with my e.l.f. Matte Mist Spray. Make sure it lasts the whole day. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put on some balm. And the reason why I do this is because my color that I'm gonna use on my lips is matte. And I wanna exfoliate my lips. So I put some of that balm and then with a wipe, I just kind of clean my lips a bit and get rid of all that dead skin. We do not want that matte lipstick settling into those little cracks. So then I'm going to put on some more balm lips. Oh, there's Lucia. She wanted to say hi. I forgot about that. And uh, yeah, so put some more balm in there and then I'm going to kiss my hand to just get some of it off. Just so we have a really thin layer of uh, balm. Then here is the star of the show, my friends. This is a beautiful color. I believe it's uh, Heroin by Maybelline. And even though I love this color, the formula I'm not too crazy about. I feel like it gets a little patchy at times and I have to apply a lot more product. And yeah, this this formula, I mean, it'll last the whole day though. Like at night, I would have to like scrub. I did have to scrub the color off of my lips, but this color is just so gorgeous that I'll forgive that. It's kind of like an orangey red. Talk about popping. I mean, this color totally pops love it take your time with matte lipstick you definitely have to take your time because once it's set like I said it sets and there's the other one they come in pairs saying hi all right guys so this is it this is the look I absolutely love wearing this even in the fall throughout you throughout the year pretty much and then you could totally rock it and that is it Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you want to watch more videos and that like button if you did enjoy this video. This is the last selfie that I took that day just to show you how it looked. And that is it. Have an awesome day. Love you guys. Bye.